and welcome to another video world war 2 this gameplay that we've got in the background is a free for all that i've actually not long just got and it was in the process of getting one of my contracts done it's a free for all 30 and 8 was the score um unfortunately there's no sound i don't know why my old gato has not recorded the sound but fingers crossed that'll be fixed for next time and thank you all that have joined me in the live streams as well i've had a blast doing it so world war Two. this is my true honest opinion on this game it is absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant i love it couldn't have got couldn't have designed it better the only pro the only there is a few issues i've got uh mostly i think everyone else is having the same problem which is servers um i couldn't get on the first day it was on your multiplayer should i say the first day it was released i've not tried zombies so i won't be seeing anything about that today until i've actually done a video on it or live streamed it you know and but let's stick to the campaign first now i streamed the campaign i was very disappointed in myself actually because i had streamed the campaign and then i thought right well i'll go and i'll do some multiplayer but i couldn't get on so i thought right i'm halfway through this game i'll end it now finish the campaign tomorrow but needless to say after i finished the first live stream i only had two missions to do so i should have just finished it at night to be honest but i was very tired it was five o'clock in the morning when i finished um because i'd stayed up all night to watch it i thought better get a couple hours sleep in or i'll be grumpy but during the campaign i thoroughly enjoyed it absolutely one of the best my other favorite storyline is which i mentioned in a previous video is ghost now that's amazing that storyline and i honestly didn't think that it could be beat but world war Two campaign very close to ghost so i thoroughly enjoyed that the graphics were all outstanding um the actual gameplay itself was amazing i never had any problems by you know how sometimes when you tell your character to do something and it does the opposite so i never actually had that either absolutely brilliant i just the storyline that went with it was just unreal the weapons were really good gives you a sort of feel for multiplayer as well um but not absolutely fantastic i thoroughly enjoyed it as for multiplayer well i've got a lot to say on this it's brilliant love that it's back to boots on the ground it's totally hyped the weapons can be uh, it's quite strange because one minute you can do well with a weapon and then with the same weapon next minute you're not i mean i've seen a lot of the comments on twitter and stuff and a lot of other people are saying it's quite inconsistent but apart from that multiplayer is excellent but apparently they are on the way of fixing it that's why we're going into headquarters and we're not finding anybody because that's the way it's going to be just now until it's sorted we have the contract love that they've brought that back that was black ops one it was just another way and an xp and getting supply drops um i love the fact that they brought in divisions i think it's just more to rank up because i really like progressing through a game and leveling up and being able to accomplish that whether there's a secret camo or not i don't know i was i'm kind of hoping there is but i'm not much of a sniper so maybe i won't get that overall thoughts of the game once the servers are sorted out um i think i would give this game 9.5 out of 10 definitely I mean, I don't really want to say 10 out of 10 because I need to reserve judgment for Call of Duty's later on down the line. Um, but the, this one is very close. Everything runs smooth apart from servers, obviously. The maps, mm, there's one map and I don't know what it's called. Um, anyway, it's quite an open, the middle of the map is, it's a huge map, but it's open right in the middle. And the thing is, I don't like it. I really don't like that map. Um, like, see, I'm not much... I mean, that map would be a sniper's heaven, I feel. Um, I do like the other snowy one. I don't even remember their names right now. Um, I should really have just wrote them down. But the 
big one I do not like. Um, the map that you're seeing in the background here, and I would really like that one. That's one of my favourites. And, literally, the, is it Point Do Hawk? The one that was in the, the beta. Absolutely brilliant. I cannot fault this game as of now. Um, stay tuned for future videos. I've got, I, on Mondays, I'm going to try and do, well, obviously, a part from, after this week because i want to do a review on this i want to do flawless hardcore on mondays on free for all uh, i'm going to do favorite gun setups and what i think works wednesdays i'm going to take out call of duty and do a ps plus wednesday thursday zombies friday i'll just be random games that i've got sitting there I want to do a bit of Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not going to say that I'm good at that or bad at it. But look out for Sunday's video as that is going to be the campaign and veteran level. Plus every day will be a live stream at night time in between 8 and 11. Undecided about weekends because I've got two children and I don't think you really want to be listening to two children screaming in the mic. Um, but I mean I could live stream and then keep my mic on mute until I need to talk or they're being quiet um, if you prefer that but overall this game we needed it will it be enough to bring back the Call of Duty community possibly I mean give it a couple of months plus Christmas is coming up as well a lot of people will be getting it for Christmas I mean, it, it does definitely have the potential to bring it back. But then there's also people out there that are not so easily convinced. I mean, this technically is the first proper Call of Duty since next-gen consoles were released. And then before that, it was like Black Ops 2 and what have you and that. But I don't know. Will it be enough to survive? Mm, I'm hoping so. I mean... They had millions of people just hitting servers or, well, UK time, midnight and stuff like that. There was millions of people hitting the servers and obviously there was a great overload because, like I said, on the first night I couldn't even get in at all. But apart from that, the attachments, I'm not sure about the divisions. Well, I like that they've added that progression system, but I like, I also like perks as well that would allow you to have steady aim or uh, over well that wouldn't be in it but ghost and stuff like that and also the wild cards to add attachments to each gun i like that but this is still a good system definitely especially with the basic training but i think that's all i've got to say in the game 9.5 out of 10 i'm going to give this game absolutely fantastic love it and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you on that next one tomorrow. Bye, guys.